Hello and welcome to the live stream of the excellent, the most excellent Jurio division of Sumo. This is Haru Basho, the March Basho, the Osaka Basho. I'm Amy, I'm here with Dave, we're from Sumo Mainichi and we're going to bring you all of the action. Hello and welcome to Sumo. What a welcome return this Haru Basho makes into our lives uh, a few bouts in Makushta to finish off as we see Kota Daigo. A little bit of uh, mind games at the Shikiri Sen against his opponent today, Nabatame. Uh, Osaka, we were there last year. We were. We were just reminiscing a bit we about were, it. We were. It's such a beautiful stadium for sumo. Vibe check high for Osaka. Well, the Osaka crowd, if they know one thing, they know get there early and preload. <laughs> You can hear people shouting from the backs of the uh, stadium already as we see Nabatame treat them to a powerful display sending Kota Daigo off the uh, doyo there. This evens up the record between these two there. Two to two, head to head. A great win for Nabatame. On day one, you really want to blast out and just come at your opponent. Say, here I am, Sumo's back. Sure. It's March, it's getting warmer. How is it in well, Osaka, no, actually? I wouldn't call it warm uh, today. <laughs> warmer. 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 Uh, a top of, well, currently now in Osaka, it is 12 degrees Celsius, 54 degrees Fahrenheit. That's a crisp, cool day for sumo. Uh, looking ahead, there is going to be some rain later on this week, so it could be quite miserable in Osaka. <laughs> Not in the sumo department. They're or, pumped. They're there. They're ready to go. I should say we are... Uh, Going through a bit of a heat wave oh, yeah. here in Melbourne, Australia, as uh, Tim Sumo. Hello, welcome to the chat. You're he, experiencing the heat wave. You could appreciate it. It's uh, 38 degrees, I think, as we start here, which is 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. And, and it's our very... second day of that, and it's going into tomorrow as well. Yeah. So it's going to get nice and cosy here in the, the Sumo Manichi studio today <laughs> as the Sumo hots up over the next hour and 10 minutes. Yeah, forgive us. We've kept the air conditioner on uh, yeah, so we, we don't <laughs> die. <laughs> this is Kitadaichi coming up against Tsukuhara, the second last bout of Makushita. We love coming in a little bit early and seeing these oh, top well. Makushita guys, how they're going. If we had more time in our lives, I think we'd probably start at about 10 a.m. this stream yeah, and just go all day, but there are things that need to be done. Welcome, uh, Graham. Hello, Graham. So great to have you along with us. Scott, welcome. Welcome back, I should say. And, uh, oh, Corey. Hello, Corey. Corey as well. Corey, I was so, so happy uh, this week to get my notification. <laughs> Via email that my Dallas Sumo Club t-shirt is on the way. It's going to be so sweet when it gets here. We're both going to wear them together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really represent. We were out at the, um, went to see the streets last night yep. and I just thought it was the perfect place. I didn't wear my Dallas Sumo Club t-shirt, but I feel like I should have. Yeah, that look would have been a uh, powerful statement. Mm. Mm. I think. Oh, some uh, Tsukahara pushing out early, but whoa! <laughs> Kita Daichi accepts that charge and then just a huge throw sending Tsukahara down. From Tatsunami Bea, Kita Daichi establishes his dominance on number one. I thought, uh, day number one, I should say. Thought Tsukahara was going to come out and get that one, but Kita Daichi looked great at 25 years old at Makushita 3. And guess who's stepping up onto the doyo? On the east side, it's Mr. Sumo, it's Chiamaru. He's dropped down to Makushita. Yeah, for the first time in a long time. How does everyone feel about this? I, personally, bad. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Yeah, it's Disastrous. Not great, it? It's not great. Uh, it's his first time in Makushita since. I'm sure we said this on a podcast, but this sort of stuff does not stick in my mind. It is since. Here we go. 
July 2013. Hmm, it's a long time ago. What was number one on the charts then? Let's have a look. <laughs> it was, oh, Blurred Lines by Robin Thicke. I remember oh. that being quite problematic. Oh. Yeah. Wish that hadn't have been. <laughs> that was simpler times. Wish we they? didn't look that up. Yeah, I wish we didn't look that up too. You got to go we see on the split screen, yeah. Obama uh, activating the trial. Activating Great the start. trial, and who wouldn't you do it? Who would you do it for other than Haku Oho? Um I guess a an unfortunate man of the moment. It's great that he's back in Jurio. We've all been really looking forward to seeing him in a bit of a tricky time at the moment with the whole Miyagino Bea issue at the moment. I wonder how it will affect his sumo this time round. Here we have Chiamaru up against Osaka uh, born or Osaka area born Yuma. So he would have got a bit of a clap. He certainly he would. Hopped up. Uh, there's a lot of people that I want to say welcome to in the chat. Daniel and uh, all other Midnight Gang who are here. Uh, Kay. Oh, Matt's here from Sumo. Dr. Pikes. Quack. <laughs> Dr. Quack, hello. Wang, wang, wang. I'm not sure if we've seen you before, but welcome. <laughs> Kay Bunny. Uh, great. I think we're up to date there. And of course. I can't even see wang, wang, wang. Did you make that up or have they gone off the screen? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. No, I, I'm pretty sure I saw it. Although awesome. we did have a late night last night. <laughs> no, we, did. we did. So here we go. Chiamaru up against Yuma. Mr. Sumo, you can do it. He goes out with force. Uh, well, I mean. And he says, hello, here I am. You got your upside, upside down. down. <laughs> Chiamaru towel, I love that. That is me. That's channeling some real Amy energy there. Hold it upside down. Yell. And have another highball. Well, I'll tell you what. He, today... Chiamaru, Mr. Sumo. Yes, I said it. He retains that title. Yes, he Sumo. does. He, we are not relinquishing that anytime not soon. Not quite yet, because with a statement like that, I mean, that says very, very clearly, we don't need to start thinking about the next Mr. Sumo. Mm. He'll be back in Juria very soon, soon, I predict. I hope so. I very much hope so. So Kelly, uh, welcome. He's watching from a boat in the Solomon yes. Islands. <laughs> Kelly, you made it. Thanks so much wow. for uh, for messaging earlier and asking about the start time of the stream. It's always so hard to say because we never know quite when Jurio is going to start. But I'm so glad that you could uh, hook up with us from the Solomon Islands. That's amazing. Now, here we have on the screen one of the glorious faces, minds, bodies of Sumo. He'll be here in a second. It is Ten Shawhall. He has unfortunately dropped down to Makushta 1 alongside Chiamaru, but today he is the Jurio Visitor coming up against Chiasakaye. I love this guy. Once in a lifetime you find uh, someone that you're yeah, he's, he's, really yeah, into. He has really clicked with you, Ten Shawhall. A little bit disappointing mm. to see him drop down, but I think Makushta 1 you only needs four wins Tenshohor. to get back. Yep. Uh, and he can have another crack at establishing himself in Sumo. I mean, we don't want to talk about it too much, but obviously Ten Shaw Hall coming in. A lot on his mind with what's been going on at the Haya over the last few weeks. But the good thing is once you get out on the doyo, the sumo does the talking. Yeah. His opponent today is Chiyo Sakaya, who is uh, in at Jurio 14. He's 33 years old from Kyoto and... Was a little bit lucky in January from Jurio 13, went six and nine. He's got Kagiyaki luck, this He's, guy. Well, this is his third basho at Jurio 14. In November, he went seven and eight. He stayed there. I say put him down. <laughs> I'm just going to say, yeah. keep Tensho. Well, I mean, it hasn't happened. This is a grudge match. It is a grudge match. It's against the should be Jurio 14. Mm. Exactly. And there shouldn't be Jurio 14. Exactly. Sorry to any Chiyosakaya fans out there. I know you're there. But look at that profile. Well, there's no way you can apologise for this. <laughs> I can't and I won't. Now, there is a new rule that uh, Corey suggested. When you go down out of Sekitori ranks, you have to invert the towels oh, when you cheer for I them. Oh, I like that. I like it. I'm going to do it. So, <laughs> You'll see us there next year in so, Osaka. <laughs> so disrespectful, but also, hey, it's a rule. I feel like as a guardian at the sumo, you shouldn't do that, but I'll commit. Good. 
Here we go, Tenshaw. Who is he fired up or is he distracted by the goings on? You can do it, son. Put your mind to it against Chiyosakai. He comes in strong. He doesn't fall over. It looks like he's about to, but he does get pushed to the side by Chiyosakai, and he could fairly easily push him out. Not a not a bad touch, yeah, but just looked off-footed. Yeah, well, I mean, as, as you pointed out there, and we'll see on the replay, Ten Shoho came in looking a little bit unbalanced, mm. managed to get his feet under, but by the time he pulled himself up, Chiyosakai... He was in the driver's seat here and uh, just watched Ten Shawhall come in. Yeah, I mean, we don't want to draw too much of a conclusion nope, from nope. that performance today. Day one. Day one. We won't see him for a couple of days. That's probably bad, actually, to be in this situation in Makushta and have a couple of days off and be thinking, you know, what's going to happen to my stable? If it closes, now, where am I going to go? But let's move on. The crowd goes <laughs> wild because stepping up next, we have the man. Kira Haruma. Yes. <laughs> up against another man, Haku Oho. It's true. This, this is, is a, a huge, bout. huge, huge matchup. Kira Harima, at the age of 37 years old, is coming back to Jurio. They said it couldn't be done, but he has done it. He was last in Jurio. I have to go all the way back to 2017 mm -hmm. in September. Were they doing problematic songs still then? Oh, probably. probably. I, I don't really <laughs> want to look at the uh, the number one song of 2017. Yeah, it's probably got September, some, it's... some problems. Come on, Abema, you can do it. Come on, Abema. Um, on the other side, Haku Oho. Haku Oho. Uh, also maybe in a little bit of, of mental trouble here. He's been named, obviously... Uh, after Hakuho, who is going through uh, such a tricky time at the moment, the stable and the man and his rikishi and Magaki Oyakara, uh, all at risk of the uh, the stable closing down. But can Hakuho come back? He went six and one uh, after going out injured with the shoulder. He went six and one at Makushta five in January. Looked very very strong. Has his hair up in a mage for the first time. And it would be lovely to be able to see what now, what is happening. I was trying to fix the uh, internet and I kicked over a glass of water. So I'm just going to oh, okay. go and get a towel if okay. you can hold down yep. the uh, fort here. Hopefully the sumo comes back very soon. That would be great. Maybe switch over. I mean, pop, it, pop on another stream if you need to. Yeah, I wonder what's happening. Can anyone else see? Just uh, just maybe somebody else watch a stream and, and type into the chat what's happening. It is a clean and organised desktop, that's true. He keeps everything very clean. <laughs> we'll try. I mean, you can watch what we're doing. You can see it. They're about to go. All right. All right, Ben. Ben's got Carla's stream up. Oh, no. It happened. What happened? Okay, we're back. Looks like Hakuoho won. Look how smart he looks. <laughs> well, he was in the replay Very here. Great. There they went. Apologies for Australian internet, basically. Um, oh. If you want to come and move to Australia, that's fine, but don't try to stream sumo at any time. Great win. Yeah, Great win. Very They're very powerful. powerful. We saw the replay of the most important bout of today's Jurio division. Yeah. So happy to be able to bring you that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in, a, in replay form. Look, we're all in it together, aren't we? Oh, uh, look, we are. We are. Um, we've got Goose with us from Salt City Sumo. Hello, Goose. Dr. Ben Marshman. Hello. And Siggy. I don't think we've... Uh, Siggy, I've done a total 180 on Hakuoho. Huh. Which way did you start 
what way were you facing when you started? Well, I think it was I think it was the negative way. Oh, and right, I think okay. it might have gone straight to the positive. I mean, is it because of his situation now? Is it because he's kind of been messed over? I might swear on stream. <laughs> Effed over by uh, this whole situation. What's going to happen to his name? Yeah, well, it will be very interesting. But why would you bother thinking about bad things when you can watch this next bout? Akua, the clown prince, up against Sushi Manada. Akua down at Jurio 13, knocking on the door of Makushta, which you don't normally knock to try to get out of a division, but <laughs> this man seems to be doing everything in his power just to slowly descend out of the Jurio rank. Not to say he's not very entertaining as he does it. Well, he's going to maintain the salt throw right till the end. Still committed to it. Well, hopefully we'll see today. There was one day when we went last year in Osaka that he forgot to do the salt throw at all. Just forgot about it. Just didn't realise that yeah. it was the, the final uh, go back into the corner. Here we see Wakataka Kage coming back into Jurio for the first time since his injury. Looking great in a light. That's a difficult colour to pinpoint. And we'll return to that later in the stream when he hops up on the doyo. But Akua's opponent here is Tsushi Manada. He's just come back into Jurio after three Basho in Makushta. He struggled to get back after a 3.12 at Jurio 11, after a couple of Basho before that, hitting his top rank of Jurio 9. He struggled in Makushta. Went 3-4, 4-3, 5-2, and oh, that's wow, a mountain. look at the width on that salt. It's halfway up the wrist. <laughs> <laughs> that's got girth. Yeah. Oh, nice. Spraying oh, that went so far into the crowd. Yeah. That got the uh, the camera people. Is, I mean, the correct way to approach that is to have the mouth open if you're sitting on the other side of the day, right? Taste, <laughs> taste the throw. Also, turn that towel upside down. Your boy is... Oh, no, he's <laughs> no, taking Okay, okay, okay. That's okay. all right. That's oh, my goodness. Right. Sorry, Aqua. I take that back. I mean, I think as a, you, you want your mouth open, of course, but yeah. as a camera person, I saw a guy leaning back and trying to get out of the no. way. Surely you've got the camera aimed up. You want to see yeah. the salt coming for you. I'm not sure quite how you could focus on Put it. Put some safety goggles on it. It'll be fine. All right, Tsushimanada down first, but Akua drives forward, head down, and Tsushimanada handles that charge easily, flipping Akua down to the ground. I thought this was pretty positive sumo from Akua. Yep, yep, he tried. He went forward for sure, but uh, got rolled down. A comment from Daniel Tsushimanada's Mawashi colour is great. The deep blue. The ocean? No, that's deeper than ocean blue. It's almost purple, that blue. It draws your eyes in. You can't look away. It is Gee, a beautiful, beautiful colour. That was a great bit of footwork on the Tawara there by Tsushimanada. Did not have much room left. Beautiful, beautiful throw from him today. And Goose mentioning Teretsuyoshi here. Don't do the salt throw because of Teretsuyoshi. And I note that Teretsuyoshi is Kujo this time around. Is he really? So okay. possibly on the way out. We should also probably mention Enho's Kujo. Uh, he's looking to come back to the Sekitori ranks if he ever could. I think he's got one more Basho to get into uh, to get some some perks in his post sumo career but uh, I doubt that uh, that will happen at this stage didn't couldn't uh, enter this time around and here it's Koto Echo versus Aoyama are we in the mid Magashira ranks or are we in low jurio yeah. well at the moment for these guys unfortunately it's low jurio two old war horses going out to battle one more time Koto Echo he has had a run of injuries that has seen him fall you know effectively from Magashira 8 now down to the bottom of jurio uh, he was three wins 10 losses and two days off uh, in January two wins eight losses five days off in November. So really, ha he has not got a lot of white dots uh, no. in the year 2024. Can the wedding ceremony, though, inspire him here? He had a good off-season. He he had his Well, I can't, his wedding believe, can't believe you're asking that question. Celebrations? You think we know what happens. You think, well, are you saying now that it's out of the way, he might have some more mental bandwidth oh, maybe. to think about? Yeah, sumo. he doesn't have to think about the what the flowers are around the edge of the cake yeah. and who sits next to who, you know, does 
his dad and his, you know, stepmom sit near the mum or do, mm. you know, all of those mm. things. And the friend from uh, college who doesn't like the other friend, those wedding things. Corey, I know don't bring up Teretsuyoshi, that's true, but sometimes I like to think about him and his reptile collection, right? How he's built, he and his wife are building a reptile house because his passion is housing and buying and having reptiles. Like, that's cool. Maybe he just has all the time in the world now to devote to his passion. You can't tell me he's not into some black market imports, exports of oh, reptiles. No. <laughs> Come on, let's be honest. Uh, welcome, JJ Dumbface, coming. <laughs> it's JJ. <laughs> hey, I'm just reading out. Yeah, no, you can. The handle. How did that change? When did that change? <laughs> um, coming at us from Vegas. Oh. Saying that the video is quite choppy. It could be the Wi-Fi. I think it's probably our internet yeah, today. Probably. Uh, I'm going to try not to think about it. Uh, Aoyama on your screen, a.k.a. Danny Boy. Is that right? That's yeah, right. sure is. Well, I'm really swallowing the psyche right into the microphone here. Sorry about that, everyone. Here we go. Koto Echo versus Aoyama. Aoyama comes straight forward. Koto Echo backs off. He tries to use a Tsupari attack to get Aoyama away. But Aoyama, enjoying Oshisumo on day one, pushes Koto Echo straight out. You, you have to think that Koto Echo's knee is not good here. He didn't put up much resistance. Well, Kotoeko did that very rare move in sumo, which is where you, you're you taking a Yori Kiri and somehow turning it into an Okuridashi yeah. on the bales. The turn away. And let me look at Aoyama's form here. This is the sumo he does best, but yeah, managed just, just to spin around and confirm there, Okuridashi. Oh, this oh. injury is happening at the worst possible yeah. time of his career. Yeah. Yeah, it's his prime time. It's Kotoeko sumo prime time. <laughs> And he's not getting to deliver on it. It's really sad. And even his body conditioning looks less, obviously. He hasn't been able to train as much. And it's just a little bit sad. Corey, you're sad about Teretsuyoshi. Koto Echo is giving me the downs. There are some, some suggestions going on here. The Isagahama Reptile Cafe coming off a... <laughs> suggested by Dr. Ben Marshman around uh, animal cafes in Japan. I don't know if I would go to a lizard cafe. Run by Teretsuyoshi, I would. Yeah, probably. <laughs> probably. And his wife. His wife looks really nice. Well, hype bout number two. Come on, internet. You can do it. You can do it. Don't just crap out on all the hype bouts, please. This is Oshoumi. <laughs> now, can you tell if it's... Yeah, it's Oshoumi. We've had our world rocked today by hearing the announcer say Oshoumi. Yeah. Whereas we've been calling him Oshoumi. Yeah, because the U can sometimes mean an elongated O sound. Yes. But seeing the kanji there, yeah, it's Oshoumi. Okay. Well, I will attempt to uh, adapt on the fly. Uh, this his opponent today, a young man called Wakataka Kage, has made his rise very, very quickly. Coming up from Makushita 6. Won the U show in January, this mm. young man. Yep. Big things ahead. So great to have him back, Wakataka Kage. I think the question... Uh, that, that I was asking when we saw him in November when we were there in, in Kyushu was, is he going to be one of these rikishi who, who returns to Sanyaku very quickly? We saw him drop a couple that he should have possibly won. I had questions about whether or not he was returning from injury too soon. Uh, but what we saw in January was a comprehensive 7-0 Yusho. Uh, looked like it was easy work for him. It sure did. And I think we've seen this Moashi colour from him before, although I feel like it was just a little bit more silver. I've got very preoccupied with this Moashi colour. Was it brighter when he used to have the silver? Uh -huh. Has it gone a little bit duller or is he using an old? Maybe he's brought out of okay, retirement an old Moashi. I think you're going too deep. No, I, I can't. There's no way possible. It's a Bema. The colours are off. <laughs> yeah, the colour balance. Colour balance is all over the shop. So I don't think we can really say for sure. No, I need everyone's input on it, please. They don't mind blowing out their whites in this <laughs> <They> coverage. <don't. laughs> <laughs> well, at least we can see it. That's step one. Being able to see this delightful coverage. Oshoumi, did we talk about his run up to this? So this is his uh, second Basho Injurio after going 8-7. He lost on the final day, but he already had that 
all-important Kajikoshi, the all-important eight wins on day 14, which would have been a great relief to him. And with that 8-7, he moved up two ranks to Jurio 11. So that was a nice little bonus for him. Yes, for sure. At Jurio 11, it's all Shoumi time, no doubt about it. Uh, the crowd, I think, uh, we, and we've seen this happen before in Osaka, they've peaked early. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they've, I think so. this, this is what happens. It gets to about, uh, what would it be, Japan time, about 3.15. <laughs> and when you've been drinking since 11 a.m., you start to get a little bit tired, <laughs> a little bit sleepy, but hopefully they can wake up for the ex-Yokozuna, I They've believe. got to go outside and... Kage. <laughs> they've got to go outside and have a little walk around need some just fresh a little air. refresh exactly because it does get hot in there no matter whether it's 12 degrees yeah, or 25 degrees it's always pretty steamy in all of the stadiums at any time of year all right here we go Oshumi on the left of your screen Wakataka Kage on the right some mind games here Wakataka Kage drives forward, but Oshumi attacks the neck, keeps the center of gravity of Wakataka Kage up high, but it's all Wakataka Kage. He uses the body to shove Oshumi back and over the Tawara. I mean, that's about what you'd expect from this bout. I thought it was a good opening from Oshumi there. Yeah. Yep. He was probably very nervous coming up against Wakataka Kage on day one, and he did represent himself well, but possibly an expected... Loss there to Wakataka Kage, who controlled the bout well, I thought. Stood firm, let that knee stand back. There was one moment where the, uh, the legs came forward and he looked a little bit topsy-turvy, but he was able to maintain that balance. And from him now on, it's all about the balance and getting the knee in a position where he can work with it. I imagine that once your knee goes, it's a problem for the rest of your career. So it's about how he can set up around that knee and he was able to do that today. Oh, I thought he handled the spirited attack there quite well. Mm. And he doesn't necessarily need to go and blow every opponent away every day. He was responsive there and he was just strong enough. Absolutely. Didn't overexert himself. And gunmetal blue perhaps is the... It's just the blue there, Graham. Gunmetal blue. Graham, are you ukulele, Graham? If so, that's awesome to see you and hello. Uh, gunmetal blue. I like it. Gunmetal grey. But maybe gunmetal blue is one of the paint names. I don't know. It I could don't be. paint very often. What Pantone number is that? <laughs> and also Hokuto Fuji had the beautiful silver Moshi as well, but it does dull a little bit. I feel like he's got one out of the archives to, um, oh, to give him a okay. bit of power. I feel like there's a bit of superstition here. Anyway, we have Shiden. We certainly do have Shiden, the 32-year-old from Tokyo, in at Jurio 10. Not quite his highest rank. He was at his highest rank in January where he was at Jurio 8 and unfortunately went 6 and 9. But certainly stays uh, at a respectable Jurio 10 for Haru. It's funny, I would almost say at the age of 32, I feel like his sumo still has room for improvement. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I feel like when I see Shiden go out there, he's still developing. It's like he's still wiring up all of the uh, sumo joints in his body. But at 32... <laughs> he's got to wire quickly. He's got, yes, the window is closing very quickly. Now, on the other side, Thomas Shawhaw in at Jurio 9. The human puzzle to yeah. me. Yeah. He is. There's an excellent breakdown of Tamashoho's career, actually, in the, this is a deep dive, but the Nato Sumo Discord. It's been put up there by Sumo Follower. He's a man who has changed stables many times. He's changed his Shikona, or it had yeah. it changed, many times. He's had a really colourful career so far and a lot of change. Some injury... And he's won a lot of fans. Very, very popular Rikishi now. Um, I've just discovered his Instagram, which is uh, Tasty Towel. There we is go. Is Tabby in the chat? I don't I think I don't think Tabby's is. here. And unfortunately on Abema, we get the reverse Tasty Towel because they don't have a camera yeah. on that side of the uh, stadium. Tama Shawhaw, highest rank of Jurio 1 back in September last year. 
And he went 4-11 there and just did not look himself. I think he was carrying an injury. Uh, and again, in January this year, at, at the, towards the top of Jurio, Jurio 4, he went 4-11 again. And that's why I say he's a bit of a puzzle. Yeah. He looks like he has so much promise, looks like he's ready to, t- to take the next step, and then doesn't. Don't be worried if you follow him on Instagram and he doesn't follow back. He will accept your follow. You'll get to see a little insight into his life. He takes, wow, Sheedan. I had no time to say anything then because Sheedan darted forward, got his arms around Tamashoho and just escorted him out. Well, I want to see this replay because it felt like Tamashoho left the door unlocked at the, at the touchy eye there and just welcomed uh, Sheedan in. His arms were very, very high. Yeah, he's attacked yeah, high and wow. shit has gone right. That was underneath. a terrible touch terrible eye from touchy him. Terrible touch eye. You got to make sure the door's locked. The the door was not locked. Yep. The door was wide open. He just opened his arms. It was like somebody comes for dinner and you haven't seen them for a long time. They knock on the door, you see them and you're like, "Hey, how are you?" Don't hey, how are you? She done on day 1. He's no. going to get in around well, you. Well, he certainly yeah, certainly does. No issue with that at all. Uh, the next bout we have uh, just after we take this break, Shimano Umi up against Shishi. The Jurio 9 in Shimano Umi up against the Jurio 8 in Shishi. Shishi stalled out at yeah. Jurio actually. He came in in July 2023 at Jurio 12 and he went 9696. So then you think, okay, the guy is coming. He is ready to go. He's going to come in hot to uh, Makuchi. But then there was a 6 9 and then a 7 and 8. So we saw him kind of floundering around a little bit. We wondered about injury. Um, he's very aggressive and full on. <laughs> and yeah. Hype style of sumo sort of wasn't suddenly working for him. People were finding out uh, a way around him. Last time in January, he started off with three losses. So he'll be looking for a win on day one. He hasn't won on day one for quite a while since last year. I wouldn't, pro- I probably wouldn't go as far as Goose has gone in the chat and I quote, <laughs> she, she sucks. But it is clear that stinks. She- stinks. Stinks. Oh. That's stronger. Stinks. Damn. <laughs> Hey, let's keep the chat civil, everyone. Um, but I, I agree, it's that aggression that has got Shishi this far, but there's not a lot of polish about his sumo to me. There's nothing beautiful about it. There's not a lot of tech. Well, of course there's technique. It just doesn't look as refined as it could. Well, Corey's gone up against him, he reminds us, what? in that okay. amazing, yes. amazing recent trip to Japan where you lived out all of your dreams and I can barely talk about because of my inflammatory jealousy but <laughs> <laughs> being able uh, yeah, we to, don't talk about it around yeah, to go to Ikazuchi Baya and line up against Shishi I mean what did it feel like when he hit you yeah well, I'm wondering that's obviously a, a question for chat you can't answer right now with <laughs> with your voice but yeah I'm wondering Corey where are the weak points where would you be if you were Shimanumi, where would you be looking to find a little opening on this guy? What's their head to head? It's uh, one apiece. Shimanumi has been as high as uh, Maegashira 3. Understands what sumo is at the highest level. <coughs> Hasn't had a great run of luck recently. Went 6 9 back in January. And has spent quite a bit of time in Jurio since dropping out uh, in July 2022. I think there's still life in Shimanumi. I think he's a very strong Jurio competitor. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Corey saying Shishi feels immovable, truly half ogre. Wow, really? That's so incredible. I mean, look at the guy. Look at those power thighs. Just... A supporter absolutely beside themselves. Yeah, she, she <laughs> losing their gear. Just out of control. Should I move forward a little bit and yell a bit? No, don't worry about it. Uh, a bit of a break there as we see Shimunumi mucking about. Put your hands down, son. Haven't got all day.
The crowd in Osaka have gone quiet. I know. They're very, very, very quiet. Shishi down. Shimonumi comes forward, but Shishi attacks high work. He drops his head, goes at Shimonumi. Shimonumi tries the belt, but it's Shishi now with that left hand it, on the front. Uh, Shimonumi twisting around, trying to find some space here. That loose Moashi, an advantage. A quick oh. spin by Shimonumi, but Shishi manages to keep his feet, finds that left hand belt grip. So strong work, Shimonumi. Back, Shimonumi. The footwork on this guy is phenomenal. Great grab there and throw by the central shimpan. Ooh, grip flip there by Shishi on the belt, working hard. Shimano oh. Umi just keeps finding room as he tours around the doyo and oh. finally Shishi takes him over. And I, and I think given the conversation coming into this was about the quality of his sumo, Shishi, with that effort, has told us to shut up about it. <laughs> that was beautiful work there. What a great bout. I, I almost, it's funny how you see different bouts, how you see bouts differently. I saw that as Shimonumi reacting, reacting, reacting and backing away and finding space, but he just couldn't eventually stop the aggressive attack of uh, Shishi, who just kept coming at him. He had some interesting and varied belt holds during this bout. At one point, the front of the Moshi of Shimonumi had come away and he was just holding that out like a leash. Uh, soon dropped that, realising that there was nothing to be done there. What, what a fascinating bout. And seeing Shishi so good on the belt. As you said, after it, it got a bit loose on the front, yep. he decided to go inside and try yeah. to get around the back. That was beautiful I mean, work we, there. We do see a lot of quick bouts these days. You know, there's a lot of pull downs or uh, quick push outs on day one where... The nerves are there and, and, and the bout just ends up being very quick. But to see a, a excellent bout like that, a long bout, an active bout on day one is really cool. And that's the first one we've seen. Yes, absolutely. Shimonumi, you just see the, the sumo experience, the sumo knowledge. Ah, it's a beautiful thing to see. And with that bout, I think we can say, welcome, Haru Basho. <laughs> yeah, you have arrived. <laughs> you have arrived. Welcome. Why don't we have a look at the next bout while these ads play out. Asakoryu, he is from Osaka. So he will no doubt, when he steps up on the doyo during these ads, be getting uh, a lukewarm round of applause from the crowd <laughs> who are, let's face it, waiting for Ura. But maybe he gets a little bit more than most. And his opponent is Dai Shoho at Jurio 7. Dai Shoho, the 29-year-old from uh Ulan Batar in Mongolia. A Jurio stalwart, you'd say. Yeah, I think you have to. Loves a bit of time at Jurio. Loves popping into the lower Maigashira ranks to test his strength there. Uh, in 2023, had a, a run of uh, four Basho down the bottom of Makuchi. Finds himself back now at Jurio 7 after quite a solid 9-6 from Jurio 9 in January. There we have the Asakoryu supporters and a Daishoho. Absolutely. Supporter. Well, we see, I mean, as we see shots of the crowd now, people are starting to wake up. A little bit. There's yep. a bit more calling out. Gee, they really go dormant. At the start of Jurio. Well, they're probably I think it's a time where everybody goes out, gets a snack, yeah. goes to the vending machines. Yep. Hits a vape. Gutcha machines, gets gotcha. a little um, drink bottle cooler. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. Asakoryu, why did you change your name? Yeah, Ishizaki, it was the perfect one. And as soon as he did change his name, he started going down. It's not true. He started going up. He went Jurio 13, then Jurio 13 again with a 7 and 8. Kept himself in. And now he's gone 9, 6 and 8, 7. So not setting the world on fire. But no. he's going all right. But he's still here. He's uh, still here. Quick welcome to the chat. Brian Jones, so good to see you. Mawashi hey, Brian. Thanks for dropping down. The bout is underway. And Dai Shoho gets taken to the ground very quickly by Asakori. 
Another quick one, and that really makes me thankful for that Shimanumi Shishi bout where we got to see some actual sumo because there wasn't a lot there. Dai Shoho getting caught napping. As we were. Yep. <laughs> I'm projecting. Yeah, clever sumo from Asakori there. Yeah, he pulled him down. Feeling the, the weight against him and keeping control, stepping aside, pulling down. Perfect response to a bigger opponent there. And Daishoho never has managed yet to beat Asakori in these uh, Sekitori divisions. Asakori just a little bit fast, a little bit snappy for the big man Daishoho. Stepping up next onto the doyo is Hidenumi. Up against Chiyoshoma now. If you have entered the Chiyoshoma Henka competition... Congratulations. Well, it's cl the, we should say, of course, it's closed. The competition oh, is it's closed. closed now. No one picked day one. No one picked day one. Yes. So we, we can all just have a free and easy assessment of this bout. No pressure on it. It, it does show the level of respect that people have for Chiyoshoma. Mm. He, he won't dog act on day one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Although... Oh, he could surprise us all. Their head to head is seven and seven. And maybe he thinks treat yourself on day one. Get off to a good start. Get a white dot against your name. Yeah. I think so. I mean, he's sumo so good. Like the Chiyoshima Hemaker competition, I should always say, is uh, not a diss on Chiyoma, uh, Chiyo, Chiyomaru. <laughs> Love that well, guy. Well, we're also not dissing him. Not dissing him. I'm not dissing Chiy Chiyoshima's. Excellent yeah. sumo. I do want to take a poll though. Should we? If you're a big fan of the uh, Chiyoshoma Henka competition, yeah. do we need to at this stage? <laughs> With Chiyoshoma at 32, at Jurio 6, do we need to change it to the Abi Hemka competition? Yeah. Would you be more interested in, or do we stay true to our roots? We've never been Poll that in the chat. We haven't ever really been that interested in doing the most popular thing we could do. No. Hence the Jurio live stream. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hello to Cody too. How are oh, you? Oh, Cody. Thanks hey. for dropping into the Jurio live stream, the best division, the legends. And thank you again for your most excellent prize in last Basho's uh, Chiyoshoma Hanko competition, the pair of uh, Hyoshigi that were given away to... Yeah, Sabrina. And we, Sabrina we saw, from Sumo Punks. We saw a beautiful video of that too. Yes, learning Sabrina to use them. really working on the technique, yeah. sounding so, so good. I'm sure that will be on their Sumo Punk Band recording. Yes. It'll be all over it, really. Just have it going the whole time. I think so. Just four on the floor. Who needs snare drums? <laughs> oh, two and four. Two and four. Oh, well, who knows? No. Every beat. We maybe. cannot predict. <laughs> Yes to Arby Henker as well. We need to run two competitions. Oh, two competitions. We can barely run one. <laughs> <laughs> and it's you, the easiest I mean, competition the, in the world. Yeah, true. Here we go. Hidden Umi. We haven't even spoken about him, but we love him. He has... Oh, oh what a beautiful. little jiggle forward. That was a dance move. Next time we go out dancing, which we do not do that often, but let's go and do it soon because I want to try that. Oh, that was a... <laughs> <laughs> that was a, a tender moment. And then we belly bump. What do you think? Beautiful. I want to do it. <laughs> we need to get headset mics in here. Yeah. So I can stand up. Stand up. We need to stand up. Oh, oh. Chiyoshoma coming in with a left hand. He has clamped it down on Hidenumi's oh. Mawashi. He went for the Makakai then. He's got his left arm inside now. He's totally disrupted Hidenumi's yes. belt hold and used it to throw him up, throw him up and take him out. Beautiful, Beautiful sumo. sumo. He's heard the rumours of the Henker competition. He's gone, hey, you guys suck. He's a man. I'm going to do proper No, sumo. I think he, he probably would have had a look at the stats and gone, well, no one's going to win anything if I Henker on day one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's a generous ricochet. Oh, he's generous. But look this at that. This was such great sumo. Look at this mucky guy here. So, so he confident. pushes and he uses oh. that right arm to yeet Hidenomi's. Uh, the left arm to get Hidenumi's right arm just, off his he, moshi. He just made Hidenumi look so slow. 
to respond there. That was tight sumo from Chia Shoma. Maybe that's a message for him that he needs to be going back. Going back to... Uh, <laughs> I said it. Makuchi. Yeah. I'd Why like not? That. Well, then, if he's doing that, I'm keeping the Chia Shoma Hanku competition. I, didn't, <laughs> I haven't read the, the chat yet for Arby. I can see one yes. I can see one... John from you, Abby, is a villain, which I can only assume is a no. <laughs> Corey. <laughs> Corey said, Chia Shoma said he'll hanker on the day when he sees a sumo Manichi shirt in the audience. Mm. All right, well, there, well I mean, the, the challenge has been thrown down. That's you guys' challenge. <laughs> Until we go back in, well, it's probably not going to be this year. I, was, uh, I had a look through the sumo Manichi warehouse. We actually do have some T-shirts <laughs> left. Uh, you can order them. How do you order them? Um, There's, do we have Red Bubble. And we Red have links in Not sure. Oh, I don't know. Links. I don't know. Not sure. Here we have <laughs> Hakuyozan up against Shirakuma. Shirakuma. What an excitement machine. 24 years old. He's from Fukushima. Uh, up the coast from Tokyo. Lit the sumo world on fire. With that 8-7. From Jurio <laughs> 6. In January... Changed his name. We did know him as Takahashi, which I never minded. It no. Is a, it is a bit but middle here of the road now. We here have we the Shirakuma, yeah, Shirakuma. Uh, outfit, which he's um, set up with merch. I mean, I don't think that's official merch. That's the glory right. of this name change. Yeah, there's something DIY about yes. it. Can I just spend a little bit of time talking about the taping? You, you oh, very please. rarely see so many techniques going on at once. We've got comfort tape we've got structural tape we've got tape on tape uh we've got restricting tape and it all looks fresh yeah it's just been done it's day one that's day one tape yeah now i i will be watching with great interest to see whether he rips that off every night or we're going to take the approach of tape on tape over the day mm. so we're at the end of the 15 days you can essentially cut all the tape off and age it like you do rings of a tree <laughs> And, and people can, I mean, scientists can look at that and see the story of a basho yeah. just through the layers they can, of tape. They can tell whether he got a kachikoshi or a makikoshi. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, and the movement of the tape. I mean, the technology has come such oh. a long way. It's incredible. Look, I feel like I need to mention Hakuyozan's 10-5 in January, and I have. <laughs> All right, here they go. Hakuyozan down first. Shirakuma taking his sweet time. Comes forward. Hakuyozan under the neck. Shirakuma has to retreat here, but he works them back into the middle. Left hand on the belt. Driving forward. Driving Come forward. Hakuyozan had no. no answer. That is solid sumo Yishana from Shirakuma. Zeki Bayer represent. Very good. That was good sumo, wasn't it? Just consistent, level-headed sumo from Sh uh, Shirakuma. And look at that. Oh, did you notice that the actual um, yeah, it's shaped like a polar fan bear. was shaped like a polar bear? Responded well here to the hand under the chin early. Yep. And gave ground very, very carefully. But that left hand was the deciding uh, factor in this bout. It, he didn't finish him off with it, but it certainly let him throw his body weight forward that was in a more such, confident manner. Yeah. Such good signs from Shirakuma there. Like, he, I don't always think of him as the strongest Rikishi, but there to take the full force of Hakuyozan's huge body and stand firm against it and then be able to push back. That that was great from Shirakuma. Exactly. I love that. Hakuyozan's not a small Rikishi. He's no. not all that easy to move. And he's aggressive too. He'll yes. come from the side. He'll give you a dig in the kidneys. You know, like he, he did well there. Uh, welcome to the chat, Sean. So great to have you. Uh, Dr. Ben Marshman, I found an adult polar bear costume for sale online. I need it for July. Dr. Ben, I say this respectfully. Do you know how hot it is in the Goya in July? I live <laughs> might, there for a year. You might die. It's horrible. <laughs> yeah, also, you might die. Scott's going to wear our Sumo Money, our Sumo Money t shirt uh, next Wednesday. Wednesday week. Oh, really? Okay. So, yeah. that's great. So, so. If you've picked that day for the Chishoma yeah. Henker comp. Yeah, so that would be 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. You did that quite well. Thank you. Uh, next bout I've got of a the very day. Literal mind. I have to lay it out in a calendar. Bushozan up against Oshoma. Bushozan in at Jurio 5, 28 years old from Ibaraki Ken. Of course, Japan. He's not on your screen 
at the moment, that is Oshoma. Uh, what happened? Bushozan. Maegashira 16, 4 11 back in January. It was, to me, a cry for help from a young man who said, I know I need some time in Jurio. I've got to reset. This isn't where I want to be in January. So this is a rebuilding phase for Bushozan. Jurio 5, I think this is where he needs to be. And he hasn't beaten Oshoma, actually. Oshoma, well, surely at this point, feeling like he's, and I am going to mention again, got away with something after the most yeah. recent stable. I mean, shenanigans doesn't seem a grave enough word for it all. Uh, we're not going into details on this stream, but uh, also allegations um, at some point alleged against Naruto Bayer, yeah. against Oshoma, in fact. And nothing came out of that. And now everything has exploded around me again. You know, so interesting to see some of the differing approaches uh, to news about these stables. But in actual fact, we will put that aside and we will talk about Bushozan versus Oshoma. Bushozan off a longer run up meets. Oshoma in the middle keeps him at a distance. Oshoma seems happy, but he spins around, gets the backhand on the belt and just walks Bushozan out easily. Clever sumo from Oshoma, just keeping his distance there, waiting for his opportunity to strike. I know those allegations were never proven. I still don't like the guy. Nah, can't help it. Can't help it. I won't change. I mean, there's not sparks without a, not a fire without this. What is it? A very useful lens to understand sumo. Why did I start that so low? I don't know. Oh, I think it's about right. Lower voice. It's about right. Um, I mean, Dr. Quack wraps up and I think summarizes a very sensitive and difficult mm. sumo issue with boo or shoma. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Maybe. It's a nuanced response, and I think that's the kind of discourse we want in this chat. Yep. So thank you for bringing that insight. I am on board with that. And now we see Hakuku at a different, difficult, I would say, time in his JSA stewardship. Uh, yep. Come out to uh, address the crowd. He has already given a couple of <laughs> speeches or addresses in the last few days. He said, you know, we're dealing with the situation. Um, we're getting on with it. We're excited about... He's tried to focus on the sumo, which I guess we probably all want. Um, we're excited about Konowaka being a new Ozeki. We're excited about Terunofuji coming back and uh, proving his dominance perhaps yet again. But he also said that the fans, the Japanese fans, are not concerned about the Miyaginobaya situation, which is such a weird thing to say. And all of the Japanese fans, maybe not all of them, I mean, I can't speak for all of them, maybe just 90%, um, have come back and said, actually, dude, we are concerned about it. What the hell are you talking about? It's such a short-sighted thing to say. Mm. I mean, and it speaks down to, to fans of sumo to go, we, we don't care how you get these kids up here. Mm. We just want to see them fight. Mm. It's absolutely not that. Mm. And it's never been that. It's absolutely, absolutely ridiculous. And once, I think you, once you like sumo, you want to be involved in all of it. Of course you, know? you do. And the well-being of these kids out here, of course everyone's concerned with. We want a sport. We want a cultural relic that hangs around for a long time. We want to bring more people into this sport. Yeah. And there's already you know, many good articles written about the problem with sumo is getting kids into it. That soccer's huge in Japan. Baseball's huge in Japan. There's so many competing sports. You need a pipeline of young people coming in to maintain this quality. I need to do a little bit of analysis here. Just quickly, Takakesho sweating hard, hey, nervous. That's sweat of confidence. That's a confidence sweat. Oh, okay. Oh, he's I getting like eight that. wins. He's getting eight wins. I wish my sweats were confidence sweats. Uh, then we have Nishikigi up there as Komasubi, which I absolutely love. Arby is back. He is tall and proud standing in that second row. Takakesho trying to look out from Terunofuji's shadow. 
Kodnawaka looking strong and proud on the Ozeki that I guess he always was probably going to be. But did we think this soon? Did we think this soon? Yeah, I don't know. We will see. Um, I should just say, Salt City Sumo, the official account is in the chat. I'm not sure who is actually running that right now. Uh, after our stream here, you can head over to Salt City Sumo and they pick up the action for Makuchi. Uh, Lee Dog drenched in yeah, all caps. He is drenched. And I don't think he's talking about Takakesha. I think they're talking <laughs> about themselves. Because sumo is that exciting right now. Well, if you're in Australia, you're, you're, drenched. you're drenched right now because it's 38 degrees. <laughs> now, I've got uh, some bad... 90, 98, 99 degrees Fahrenheit. I've got some terrible news that's just come through. We only have three bouts oh, left no. for Cheerio. Yeah. I hate I it. I hate bringing you this news. I wish we could go back to the start and have them again, especially Ten Shoho versus Chiesakaya, and maybe Ten Shoho could win this time. But maybe we can summarise some of the early bouts if you didn't make it for the start of the Jurio division. We had Ten Shoho Makushta Visitor from Makushta 1 come up against Chia Sakaya, Chia Sakaya 1. Haku Oho, the star or the possibly star, possible star in, a make, in the making from Miyaginobea came up against the veteran Kita Harima and beat him fairly easily. Tsushi Minata beat Aqua, rolled him down to the ground. Aoyama beat Kotoeko. Kotoeko, unfortunately, looking uh, underpowered, perhaps. That's been kind. <laughs> <laughs> Wakataka Kage, as we might have expected, beat Oshoyumi. Not easily, but uh, fairly definitively. Shiden beat Tamashoho. Shishi beat Shimanumi. Asakoryu, in front of his home crowd, Beat Dai Shoho nice and easily. Chiyoshoma did excellent sumo to take it over Hidenumi. And Shirakuma beat Hakuyozan. And Oshoma took it over Bushozan. The three remaining bouts are Kagiyaki up against Tomokaze. Tohakuri against Mitoryu and Toki Hayate. The Tokitsukaze. Yeah. Uh, He's a sensation. First, uh, first Rikishi, we have to say, I think. Yep. Is he in first place? Over uh, short eye these days? Uh, in, in terms, terms of, of talent? Oh, I don't oh, know. Talent? Oh, jeez. I don't Five? know about that. <laughs> as, a, as a huge short eye fan. Yeah, I know. What is Hang happening? On, are you waning? Uh, I'm are not you waning. waning. I'm not waning. I'm well, just being realistic. I did. Up against hey, Takara Fuji. Realism has no nope. business. Get it out Get of, it out of here. here. I'm sorry, short eye. <laughs> you All are right. the best. We have Kagiyaki up against Tomokaze. Kagiyaki. What can you say about Kagiyaki? He's only 29. This man, <laughs> for the last... It's true. Well, how long have you been watching Sumo for? Six years, seven years? Yeah, he's been there. Well, he's been 30 all of that time in my Oh, mind. it's amazing. Yeah, and maybe that's because of the mature Sumo that he puts on, the consistent yeah, Sumo he puts oh, forward. Oh, 29. I mean, some would argue your, his best Sumo is in front of him. Mm. I wouldn't argue he's that. Okay. I think no, he probably peaked in 2020, oh, but... Yeah. <laughs> He uh, did well from Jurio 7 in January, went 9 and 6 and finds himself now at Jurio 4. Did have a brief stint uh, at, in the top division uh, in September last year. Maegashira 16, but he went 5 and 10. Felt like the temperature there was a little bit hot, went back down to Jurio for some more prep. When's his birthday? When does he turn 30? June 1. Oh, June 1, that's June nice. 1. Handy for... Smack bang on the second half of the year. No, well, that's, that's July, July 1. Because I was going to say <sighs> new financial year, but it's actually July that's 1. That's July 1. June 1's lovely, though. Tomokaze <laughs> has a uh, litany of huge fans, and most of them are in this chat, myself included. Uh, he's from Nishonoseki Bay. He has just made a return to Makuchi but couldn't stick there due to, we've mentioned it many, many times, his uh, long-term injury, which continues to plague him and will absolutely for the rest of his career. It's an injury that is um, probably eventually career-ending, but the uh, ability and the drive of Tomokaze is inspiring to everybody every day. Couldn't I do have, have said to, it better. 
answer CH's question, does this continue tomorrow? Yes, it continues for another 14 days. If you're not familiar uh, with sumo, every tournament is 15 days long. Um, everybody fights. I mean, this is a throwaway statement, but basically everybody fights everybody and you see who comes out on top. You're aiming for eight wins, which is a majority of wins over the 15 days. You, you should aim higher than eight. You should aim higher than eight. And most aim of for nine. Probably about 8.5. But don't get greedy. <laughs> Kagiyaki comes forward, but Tomokaze, he's moving forward. He's uh, using some Tupari to get Kagiyaki off oh! his rhythm. And that's all you need to do to Kagiyaki because he's trying to come forward with his own robot arms. All you need to do is disrupt it. Tomokaze did, and that's a win for him on day one. Pumped. Some people say that the genius of the Beatles was that when they recorded, they had four tracks to record with, and that forced creativity. And I draw a parallel here because we see Tomokaze <laughs> doing so much with so little. Yeah. The legs aren't working. Nah. So he, he relies on the Sapari the attacks. The arms. He, the arms. He set that win up so beautifully, executed the win when he needed to. I mean, this is economical sumo. It's beautiful sumo. Tomokaze, you're a hero. Gambare, my Absolutely. heart is full. The thing that Tamakaze does is that, you know, you're having a fairly good day or maybe you're not having a good day. Um, you're feeling like you need a little bit of oomph from somewhere. Where are you going to get it from? I tell you what, yeah. a Tamakaze win is where you get it from. Your heart's empty. Not after that bout, it's not. What? Oh, I'm, I'm, my heart is overflowing. It is. And it doesn't matter whether he gets back to Makuchi. It doesn't matter. Seeing... We, we treasure every win. Mm. And by we, I mean the global sumo community. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I love that too. I if you couldn't tell. I that very much. <laughs> <laughs> are it's we Tomokaze fans? Yes, yes we, we are. are. <laughs> All right. The second last bout of the day, we have Jurio 2, Tohakuryu up against the other Jurio 2, Mitoryu. They've met each other 10 times in the past and Tohakuryu has only beaten Mitoryu the one time. Which isn't a huge surprise. We know how good Mitoryu is. Spent a bit of time in Makuchi. He is very, very good. Very, very wily. The lo is he one of the loneliest men in sumo? Oh, still. He is. Yep, the only uh, guy is stable. Yep. He should go to... Oh, yeah. Meet up with all the yep. Miyagino guys. They yeah. should all oh, come to his. Yes. Oh, they can't. I mean, oh, well. Ichimon yeah, business. Well, let's, but let's not limit ourselves by Ichimon. Hate the Ichimon Stupid, limit. Stupid, I know. Stupid. Again, I don't want to talk too much about all of that. CH, I'm sorry that this is a little bit um, impenetrable in terms of this story, but all you need to know about Sumo is that um, <laughs> these guys are coming up against each other. It's a very easy sport to understand, actually. You get pushed out or you get pushed down. Um, everybody is a legend and everybody is trying to get eight wins. Asterix, there are some people with questionable Apart from histories. the ones we say we don't yeah. like. <laughs> <laughs> or Chad. I'll, I'll trust Chad as well. Yeah, Chad, Chad. Uh, the Goomba is pointed forward. We're ready to get this second last bout of Jurio underway. Tohakuryu on the left of your screen. Mitoryu on the right. Nice golden snake there on the fan. It's to Tohakuryu comes forward. Mitoryu, though, such a good defensive ricochet. He drives forward despite that Tohakuryu oh. belt grip. Well, shows how good he is today. Didn't care about the hands on the belt. No, no, he didn't. I love a Mitoryu win. Has Mitoryu changed his Mawashi colour again? No. The orange? Oh, no, oh. it's not. That was the different cameras. I think they have two different yeah. cameras. Did you see that flip? They, they And it, it looked so much more orange. Yeah. That's how quick I am on my Mawashi colour yep. retention. Did he change his Mawashi halfway through halfway the bout? Through the bout. <laughs> You're just like, nope. <laughs> to a slightly lighter orange? Oh, he used Look the belly well then. I mean, he Mitori, used the belly very, very well. Vittori is one of these limbo rikishi where he's too good for Jurio. Not quite good enough to stay in Makuchi. I, that's, I've been saying this for a long time. We need a division in between. Where you put the <laughs> yeah. four to Who six would go rikishi. There, oh, well, well probably, probably Kagyaki. I'd say Roga should be there. Oh, Roga. 
Yeah, Kidna Waka maybe at the moment. Oh, yeah. Dai Mami, Dai Shoho. Koto Echo, the moment. Which that's generous. <laughs> that's generous. <laughs> Shimanumi. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Jakuichi, I call it. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, all right. Uh, <laughs> Could do better. All right. That's okay. We can workshop it. <laughs> I've never been a revolutionary. We come to the final bout of today's Juro Division. It is Tokitsukase Bear, specialist. <laughs> <laughs> Toki Hayate. What can I say? I love the guy. Actually, I saw, I've commented in the past that there's not many pictures out there of Toki Hayate smiling. Yep. And there was a great one the other day. And do you, do you know what I didn't do? I didn't save it to my camera roll. So I don't have it, um, but it was really, really lovely. He is up against Takara Fuji. Now, let me tell you, if you don't know about Suji, uh, Sumo, about <laughs> Takara Fuji. It's quicker Suji. to say Suji. It is. Sorry. That's Sumo Takara Fuji. <laughs> Started Sumo, his Sumo career in 2009. And he is up there in all the lists of most... Basho in a row, most secretary uh, bouts in a row. He is in on all the leaderboards, this man, on the right of your screen that they're focusing on now. He is a great, he is a businessman of sumo, and he has just now dropped down into the second division. After many, many years, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. It's 2012. Where Takara Fuji was last in Jurio. Wow. But he is 37 years old. 2009, the biggest song of 2009, All the Single Ladies. Oh, is it? Yeah. How do you know that off the top? Oh, you got it. Oh. <laughs> we just hey, knew don't that. blow the cover. Sorry. <laughs> People think I just know this stuff. I'm not glancing at your computer. <laughs> But well, unfortunately, in January at Magashira 16 yeah, with a 6 hard, 9, he could not hold that position. And now he's fighting for his life up against the young guns, up against the vibe and the energy of Toki Hayate. It's now that they choose to go to and add. Well, I don't think this is a bemmer, if you know what I'm saying. I do understand that. Uh, so I guess we're going to just try to imagine what's happening here. I'll make a prediction yep. about that yep. as we welcome you to Sumo Mainichi FM. Uh, so I think Takara Fuji is going to come out, try to get close, get the left hand on the belt. Toki Hayate is going to try to wiggle those hips, get around. But Takara Fuji, the experience, he's just going to work Toki Hayate backwards gradually. Yep. So he's not giving any tuara. ground, Takara oh, Fuji? No. no ground He's given. moving forward. Yep. Slowly but surely, Toki Hayate tries to find something in the bales, but Takara Fuji, too good, brings that experience, gets the win. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I would love that to be the exact way that uh, this plays out. Not that I want Toki Hayate to necessarily get a loss here, but um, I'm quite invested in Takara Fuji getting back. Although this is a nice way to bow out perhaps just a general decline into Jurio. I don't know. I never know how I would like to go out if I was a Rikishi. Would you rather just retire or would you rather just Oh, I thought you were talking about dying. Out? No. Uh, oh. Uh, I don't want Takara Fuji to die. No, He's only I, 37. Yeah. So no, much younger I, than us. I, I think <laughs> I think he'll stay around in Jurio for as long as he possibly can. Um as we see, right. okay, we're back what happened? here. Now, what happened? It's the Makuchi Doyo Iri. All right, I'm, we're so sorry about that. We're, we're taking Carla's stream and she decided to run ads over the last. Uh, oh, it didn't about. play out like that, Dr. Quack said. Okay, well, <laughs> okay. that's a win for well, Toki Hayate. <laughs> <laughs> he went down. Oh, go, you'd like to go down swinging, Corey. Absolutely. Yeah, go down swinging. In life. Absolutely. In life. Yep, 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 yep. The businessman had a tough first day at the new workplace. Yeah, okay. All right, so a win for Toki Hayate there. The last few bouts we saw. Let me recap those. We saw Toki Hayate win over Takara Fuji. We saw Mitoru beat Tohakuri. And we saw Tomokaze beat Kageyaki. Short eye with the lovely, uh, what do you call that melon? The rock melon? Oh, yeah. Sure. What's the orange melon that doesn't taste very good? Oh, no, it's... um. Uh, oh, no. 
No, it's not rock melon, is it? G- uh, cantaloupe. Cantaloupe. Yeah, he's got a cantaloupe on his Kesha mold this time. Yeah. Cantaloupe is always a fruit that you put out on the fruit platter to beef it up, but oh my nobody God, exactly. ever eats it. Yeah, exactly. doesn't taste It tastes good. like nothing. tastes like nothing. It tastes like water. Because there's, there's Bitter never, water. never an example where you get a fruit-flavoured anything that's cantaloupe-flavoured. Yeah. Or like cantaloupe juice. Who is everyone thinking... And wanting, that's two different things, to win this special. And I do agree, JJ, that um, people should go to Salt City Sumo's stream now of the Makuchi division. But um, what is your prediction, actually? We'll say it later on the podcast. Actually, we should say also you can support us, uh, Sumo Manichi, on PayPal, sumo manichi at gmail.com. It's the Sumo Manichi um, Sake Fund. Uh, and also you can listen to our podcast, which comes out every day of every basho. Yeah. Who, what's your prediction? Oh, well, the... I said it last time and I'll say it again. Hoshoryu is due one. Despite Terra de Fuji being there, despite Kodanawaka being Ozeki, despite Takakesho fighting for his life, despite Kirishima trying to restart that Yokozuna run, I think Hoshoryu. Mm, I like that. I think I talked myself out of it. By saying all of those names. But I, I, I would love to see a, a Hoshori you, you show. <laughs> well, I think we were discussing it the other night. And there's Takeru Fuji from Isagahama, who is a huge entry into Makuchi oh, this time big around. Entry. Devastated he wasn't in Jurio again that we could uh, talk about him in yeah, this true. stream. But uh, very excited for him up at Makuchi. We were talking the other night and really actually agreed on Hoshori you perhaps yeah, yeah, as yeah. a... Um, for once. As a U show winner this time around, it could happen. Kirishima from Annie. Robin, I'm going to take that as a Tobizaru U show pos- <laughs> prediction. I'm not sure. I think you might have just seen him, but um, I'm going to take that as a U show prediction. prediction. Yeah, I'd love to see it. <laughs> oh, cantaloupe juice is amazing, popular with Filipinos. Well, oh, okay. well I need to try it. That's Wang Wang Wang, too. Oh, Wang Wang Wang. Hi. Um, I call it, I say Wang cubed. Yeah. Or is it Wang X3? Wang times three. Wang times three. Mm. Or X3. Um, we see the other side come out, led by... Dire Mummy, he's Dire back. Mummy. He's back. Roger's back. Kidnawaka's back. The uh, first three here are returnees from the Jurio division. Our great division that we enjoy being together with every day one, day eight and day 15. Of uh, Sumo Manichi coverage. Uh, Nigel, uh, sorry, not Nigel, Robin clearing that up. He called Tobizaru for the show. Yeah, great. I want to see that. Okay. I want to see that. Wow. Wow, Shimazumi. Oh, popular. Popular. Shimazumi and Shona Noomi apparently are, are great, great friends. And mm. there's been a lot of them doing, now that they're up in Maguchi. Uh, I feel like TV shows and media personalities have latched on to their... Um, that they have the an actual friendship. personality and their, yeah. their friendship and they've got them on a whole lot of TV shows and stuff. It's good to see them getting out and representing the sport. Uh, Kodashow Hall recommends the Piazza Hotel. If you're ever looking for somewhere to have a retirement ceremony that's off the books, call the good people at Piazza Hotel. We have Taki Yasu, who unfortunately is down at Magashira 8. Tamawashi at Maegashira 7. Gonoyama had a shocker last time. He'll be looking to uh, reactivate the old career here. What can he do from Maegashira 6? And here comes Ono Sato up onto the doyo. Hair looking long. Oh, that's nearly ready to go it's up. It's nearly I think. ready it's to nearly go. Ready. <laughs> they focused on that. I love the basho before the hair's too long. I know. And I think back to Mitakumi. <laughs> Oh, his hair. A bit embarrassing that Hako Oho got his up first, perhaps. Yeah. I love, you know, like, I, like I've always said, gradual hair growing. It's the way to go. Mm-hmm. Don't rush into it. Mm-hmm. May say Daisho today. This is my number one hype matchup. I know that it doesn't bear out. Daisho has a... Uh, Advantage over Meisei. His, his, their head-to-head is very much Daisho's way, but I always love to see Daisho Meisei on the cards. And here come the two most unlikely, <laughs> Komasubi, Nishikigi and Abi, absolutely jagged their way into that position. But I love them being there, Nishikigi. Let's go, boy! Wakamoto Haru, he is back! 
Yes, he is. Back into the Sanyaku. Back at Sekiwake. A very deferent bow. Is deferent a word to sure uh, Nishonoseki Oyakata there? And here he is. Your new Ozeki. The people's Ozeki. And, and the winner of the <laughs> Basho <laughs> predicted by us. <laughs> Sumo Manichi time stamp it. It's Hoshoryu. Enjoy the Haru Basho. We are going to go and sit down and watch Makuchi now. We'll come back with a podcast later today. Thank you so much for being with us for Jurio. You are our Jurio yeah. peeps. We love you so much. It is such a great division. And uh, I really hope that you enjoy this basho and all that it holds. Thanks for joining us. Uh, yeah, we'll be on the podcast every day. We'll be back here next Sunday to bring you all the action from Jurio on day eight. Be safe. Love you, Sumo. We'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>